Hello everyone and welcome to this month's craft video. My name is Miss Danielle and today I wanted to do something that's kind of relaxing, something that I find soothing. Uh, I wanted to make cherry blossom trees and I thought, well how's the best way to do that? I could hole punch a whole bunch of like little pink stickers, um, but I thought that was uh, very tedious and not relaxing. <laughs> so instead I decided that we would do um, tissue paper cherry blossom trees. So I'm going to use tissue paper to make the flowers and then I'll add them to my barren tree as you see here. So really all you need for this craft are a pair of scissors and a glue stick. That's what you need to have at home. Uh, if you have tissue paper at home, more power to you. Uh, I can only give out a limited amount, uh, but what I give you should be more than enough. Um, you'll also need to come into the library and pick up one of these um, portraits, you could call them of just a barren tree in a cute little field and you'll have to pick up some tissue paper with it. I'll have an assortment of colors uh, but today I'm going to use the traditional pink and we are going to beautify this barren tree here. So let's get started. So this is a very simple craft. The first thing you're going to want to do is figure out what size you want your cherry blossom flowers to be. Um, I like to keep mine all the same size but I'm not perfect, I'm just a person. So that means my flowers are going to be in a whole bunch of uh, different shapes and sizes and that's perfectly fine. It'll be a cute tree anyways. So I made kind of roughly this size and just decide where on your tree you'd like to place it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add some glue. If I can open the glue stick, there we go. I like to put the glue directly on the tissue paper because I don't want to get purple glue on my scenery, but that's a personal preference. If you have clear glue, you can use that. If you have liquid glue, you can use that. Really, it's super freeform and simple. So I've got my first cherry blossom on my tree. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some time to cut up more of my tissue paper and ball them up so that I can just do the placements, okay? So I'll come back to you when I finish that. So as you can see here, I went ahead and bunched up a whole bunch of my tissue paper. Uh, and I still have half a sheet left, so if I need more, I can use more. Um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add them all to my tree, and I'm just going to arrange them in a way that makes me happy. Because that is the priority when doing crafts. So I'm just going to take each little bundle, I'm going to add glue, and I'm just going to stick it somewhere. And I'm going to keep doing that until I get sick of it. And done. Uh, my cherry blossom tree is complete and I'm very happy with how it looks. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Eastlake Community Library. Follow us on Facebook at Eastlake Library Kids. Uh, we'll do a lot more crafts there. Uh, we have story times and other fun activities, so check us out. And I'll see you next time.